I'm Alex from Hammer Missions. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking at multi-selection and uh, why it can be important. Um, so there's a common problem uh, when it comes to kind of 3D and inspection. So obviously, as you can see, we've got our, we've got the mill up here, which is our usual, our usual go-to. This was taken a few weeks back, but there she is. There's the there's the mill. So, what is the issue? I hear you ask. So, your three D model requires photos with a high overlap, which is nadir. So that's that's your your top down, your nadir shot, or your satellite shot, and then it requires obliques as well, which will be your shots around the outside of the building. And obviously when you combine those two together, you get your 3D model. So when it comes to inspection, that requires photos that are close up and of high detail. So what happens when you combine those two photos together, when not, they're not correctly aligned, is it causes a massive 3D model mess as we have experienced in the past. Not this one, this came out very, very well because we played by the rules on this. So what we're gonna to do today is we're going to basically take you through how to separate those two factors. So you end up with a fantastic looking 3D model, but you also have inspection shots to look at, which are a separate entity to your 3D model. So we'll move on and we'll go through that process. So we've got our obliques. As you can see, drone will fly around the structure. This back part here was actually left out because we were gonna shoot this manually. So that would be your obliques, as you saw from the 3D model in the first part of the video. And then you have the Nadir which is the top down. You can see the grid formation over the top of the mill. Each one of these dots represents a photo or where a photo will be being taken. So there's our plan. That's the, the plan. Um, so what you'd do obviously is go out to the field. You'd run those missions. So you'd capture your Nadir, you'd capture your obliques, and then you would go and capture your manual inspection shots separately. And that is where we will look at separating or multi-selecting all parts of this so we can create our 3D model, but have our inspection shots separately. So we'll move on to that in the next section. We're back from the field. You can see here, here's our shots. So we've got our facade shots. We've got our nadir shots and two sets of oblique shots. But here we have facade manual. And in this case, we'll treat these as our inspection shots. Down here, you see, we'll treat these as our close up inspection shots. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna upload those manually. So what we'll do is we'll upload our 3D images so our nadirs and our obliques that will make our, our 3D model. And then we'll upload our ex inspection images separately. We shall multi-select the 3D model images and then we'll process those. And what that'll do is that will separate the 3D images from the inspection images. So we shall move on and do that in the next section. So, as I said before, we're gonna create a new project. In this instance, we're just gonna call it multi-selection. Whoops, remove that. Type other, and then we'll continue. And then from here, this is where we choose our images to upload. So I'm not gonna go through the process because it takes quite a while, but you would basically go in and you would select each one. So you'd go with your Nadir photos, your oblique photos, and then you'd finally upload 
your inspection photos one by one and then continue that and that will go through and upload for all the photos to the hub. So now we've got all our pictures uploaded, as you can see here. There's all our pictures and we can see all of our obliques. And then all of our Nadir shots. And right at the bottom, we have our inspection shots. So what we're going to do is we are going to multi-select all of our images for 3D. And there's quite a few of them, as you can see, until we get to untick that one. And there we are. So that's all of our images for our 3D model selected. And then we hit process. So what will happen then is it will process all of these images and it will create our 3D model. But it won't be add our inspection shots. And then obviously we'll have our inspection shots separately. So I'll go ahead and press process. And once it's processed, we'll go back to our 3D model and you can have a look. And there you have it. There is our 3D model. All processed and captured. We can add our cameras. So you can see where all the shots were taken. You can even go through each of these shots. So there's the Nadir. And then we've got an oblique out here. But we can also scroll all the way to the bottom here and you will see our inspection shots. But it will tell us where our inspection shots are. And there you have it. So you have a 3D model and inspection shots all in one project. So there you go. If you like our video, feel free to give us a like. If you've got any comments, please feel free to comment below. And thanks very much for watching.